Hey there, everyone. This is Rao Cow playing SN Presents Canics Revenge. Let's go see our friend the penguin there in the square. Two, three, Blizzard Valley instead of a cavern now in a valley. And there is the cactus guy. Happy. But no, he's sad. And yeah, let's get to it. It's gonna be a snow level, so video's frame rate's going to be horrible. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to that. I can tell you what. Oh, that was a very detailed adventure to the slimy beach. Whoa. Okay, cactus man doesn't hurt me. Hey there, Bob. Whoa, you are now part of Yoshi's Ma and falling in a hole continuously. Because that's just the price to pay when you're trying to go on a ski lift that is rather unsafe, I have to say. I shall complain to the Department of Motor Vehicle. Wow, this is not... This could be going better, in, in theory at least. But in theory, those are stars. I got some of them. That's all that matters. At least I tried, and yeah, this is a tree, there is nothing behind it, but maybe there is, I am not too sure, hey there in the snowman. Okay, so I guess I was meant to catch, whoa, yeah, this is going awesomely, this is Awesome Sauce Express, okay, so there's Death Pimmant, where's the platform? Ooh. What the hell, man? Where's... Where's the platform go? It disappears. What's up with that? But... Freaking... God... Yeah, yeah. Hooray! I don't have a locked door key thing at all. Don't know why I can get one either. Let's just kind of do things and stuff. Oh, but here is a solution. And there is the key? Maybe I'm going to go out of some place. Freaking penguin! Okay, let's not put the mole heel in front of the horses here and look at things. In an, in an intelligent way. There is a guy that is kinda angry. I made a matter, and now I'm about on Bob. Hooray, I am between two sticks of snow. It is now the evil nighttime skylark effect. Weather is conspiring against my trip to the video arcade that is somehow referred nowhere. Anyways, anyways, this is the place where there's a whole lot of, uh, Crazy, crazy platforming action, Cheerios, Avengers, screen effect, and there's a key. Now we can go back in time, by which I mean over there. Well, over there is back in time, in fact. It's a little known fact. I know this because I can drive a car, and when you get a driver's license, they just give you these knowledges just in case, you know? It's, it, it's for preventive measures. Okay, so what am I seeing here? I'm seeing that <laughs> looks like there would be supposed to be something there, maybe. And there's probably a something there, actually. And I need some sort of fire melon. Is there a fire melon over there? Maybe I'm supposed to bounce on that switch as a sort of trampoline. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. And there's a fire melon. In case you want to set your house on fire, just put it in your mouth and scream very loudly. And there's a flower suddenly, why not? Why not indeed? And then I guess this was a great bonus area to get a few miscellaneous objects. This looks like a job for Game Boy from the Captain and series of edutainment titles. So yeah, hey there Bob, you're, you're there. Hey there Cactus Man, you are not part of the whole which we call Baby Blue Yoshi. He's an important part of the Yoshi family. He he's the one in charge of drive eyes. Gosh, those <clears throat> Yoshis like their drive eyes. So yeah, this is our great sky pot flowers. Uh, they're just kind of there, and uh, you need to look around behind the trees because sometimes it's like whoa, loose change behind the trees. Why not? 
I know I saw I find a lot of loose change behind my trees. I'm always in the winter like looking behind my trees and like, oh my god, we're celebrating some sort of festivity. Let's look behind the trees for no reason. Then suddenly there's a ring point point ring. It's a ring, it's not a silhouette or Mother's Day. There's a fire melon that Whoa, what the hell? This is like Warhammer but in penguin version. Now, because I have a face full of fire, it's like, <laughs> eat, eat pudding pops. Oh, wow, this is a rascalian. Okay, let's restart that whole section over. Okay, I think that's a good idea. First of all, we're going to deal with War Penguin the same way we deal with uh, something. Oh, no, oh, no, this was horrible. Whoa. Yeah, okay, first step. Not get hurt by friendly man there. Okay, second step, deal with the authorities, because seriously now. Now we are free to go on with our lives and also get the death melon here and free our neighbors, which is to say, Mr. Sad Flower Man. Okay, oh, Lakitu, go away, Lakitu, even if you have weird circles behind you. Weird circles will not protect you like in high school. So let's go ahead and dive to our death. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Okay. Yeah, in case anyone couldn't notice and like they don't know about whoa, this this game a whole lot. You can't make eggs from penguins because why not? Okay, this is strange and weird. This is strange and weird indeed. I'm just kind of uh, fighting the snow and stuff. What the hell? I'm supposed to go there. Uh oh, okay, right. Cloud man, I have stolen your vehicle because then I fall to my death. It is all the same poem, only one of them is slightly more deadly, and it is like the kitchen of our lives. We're not in Iceland, something killing the death penguins and their giant spike balls. And I get two ice coins, even though they are kind of red. And snow keeps on building everywhere for no particular reasons. There are reasons, but they're not... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to lick upward. Lick the death penguin from the underside. Not that it is supposed to mean anything. Oh man, to get that, I, I need some sort of firepower. Or maybe the bomb can do the job? <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bomb. You are well versed in poetry in motion. Poetry in motion! That's. Whoa, Death Logs, the Avengers. Okay, so there might be something under here. The solution was, of course, to go there yourself and ask the stars, and you're like, hey, there's stars! What's, what's going on? Wow, this is a strange area indeed. Let's see here. Okay, that was stars. But now I'm lacking in the ability to destroy that, so I'm going to so give me eggs. Uh, random forestry and things. What do you ha And there's a fire melon, which I can use to defrost these bozos. And that's probably going to give me a gift of some sort. Perhaps? Perhaps not. Wow, that was amazing, really. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there we go. I think? Uh, well, I've killed everything. I don't know anymore. I'm just kind of... Whoa, okay, I am currently in a state of reaction. It's always nice. Whoa! Death flower. Whoa! 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 Okay, let, let, let's not exaggerate here. Hey there, guy! Man, this is one dangerous area to live in, I tell you what. Let's refill an omelette machines, just in case, and stuff. Oh man, that could have gone better. That, it could have gone better. Uh, better is a quality that could have... Where the hell are you throwing? Freaking thing guy. Okay, so yeah, this is the part with... Aw, oh man! War Penguin! Why must you betray me, even though we've never really allianced together, so it's not really exactly a betrayal, but whatever. I'm not one for precise language using. That's not true. I am a great champion of throwing people away, and also language using champion 
championing. Yeah, when there's a language using championship, I'm all over it. Oh no. Let, let, let's. Oh come on! What the hell? I can't see anything. And I bet you can't see anything either. It's it's a big old confusing array of mass effects. Whoa, confusing. And cheese do not go together. Let's knock that guy away for now. There's the flower there. Don't know how to get it. Probably need to use some geometry. Geometry, my nemesis. Okay, so that doesn't work. Let's let, let's be careful here. Yeah, that's not working out. Yay! Watch out there, Spike Magi! Okay, so now we're just kind of waiting for some Spike Balls. Still got three left, and that kind of scares me. Let's hope they are forthcoming. Well, there's one there. Whoa! <laughs> You're kind of dead. That's always nice. Okay. Oh, man. Forest. Whoa! Ambush by floors. What? That makes no sense. Whoa! Whoa! He has like firepower too. He's like extreme lack of two lux edition that can like eat 55 gallons of dust while doing a, a safety dance. So so watch out for that. Oh come on! Oh come on! I I thought I. Gosh darn it! Oh man, this level, this level is the level which, which is qualifiable as a level which you find in the sauna. So this is a great sauna express, I guess. Okay, so uh, I'm somewhere right now. There's a blizzard. Oh freaking god! Ambush! Why must you exist? Because of you, I need to use my plus twenty stars. Because I don't want to restart this level. Because snow is kind of annoying, really. I mean, come on, you have like one million, jillion, gazillion little snowflakes, and they're all falling down and plotting to go in your hair. And do you know what snow does in your hair? Do you know what it does, people who live down in the south? It eats your brain using drills and devices and saws. You won't hear that on the Weather Channel. But you can trust me. You cannot trust them is what you can trust me to trust. Oh man, now the pattern is all weird and strange. Well, I do want to plus down the stars, so I'm going to focus on remembering where those are. They're <laughs> spoilers, they're right over there. The rest, I'm not too sure, so I'm just going to kind of cheat. Because cheating is what being a person on the internet is all about. Because it's like when you go to a chat room and and you go and chat with guys that pretend to be women, and, and you can sort of de facto cheat there, and it's the most amazing thing ever. And it's, yeah, I, I am easily amused by things which I do not control, such as spinning tops and tomatoes. Yeah, I, I can't control tomatoes yet, but that's gonna come later. I, I, I have been assured of that. And I am trustful of that truth because once I wore a tie, and that when I wore the tie, it's like it said to me, "Well, pretty soon you're gonna control tomatoes." I was like, "Wow! Thank you for giving me that information, Captain Picard." Except after all, it wasn't Picard at all. It was some guy with a wig, which I guess is understandable to get confused there because I know absolutely nothing about Star Trek because seriously now who the hell watches Star Trek people who enjoy watching sci-fi on television that's the kind of people and I want nothing to do with them not even a towel if one tricky would one day give me a towel I'd be like well thank you but no thanks and I would politely shake his hand this is Rao Cow. Join me next time when we go see that jolly little frog there. God! Probably tomorrow, hopefully.